video we shall be taking you around the beautiful continent of Africa, showing you the top 10 richest countries on the continent. Africa is the second largest continent in the world after Asia, with a population of about 1.3 billion people scattered amongst the 55 sovereign countries. Though the continent is home to some of the poorest countries in the world, there are however countries in Africa that stand out and can compete with countries in the West. Over the years, there has been a significant increase in the gross domestic products of most African countries, mainly due to improvements in the agriculture, service and tourism industries. However, the GDP of a country is not the only determining factor of how rich or poor a country is. Nigeria, for example, has the highest GDP on the continent, but many Nigerians live on less dollar a day. The per capita income, be it nominal or purchasing power parity, is the most important factor to determine the riches of a country. So in this video, we shall look at countries with the highest nominal GDP per capita because the higher the per capita income of a country, the higher the standard of living and overall well-being. The per capita income of a country can be gotten by dividing the population of a country by the country's GDP. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Though the richest countries in the world might not be in Africa, Africa however has its own fair share of rich countries. So, without any further delay and going by the nominal GDP per capita, here are the top 10 richest countries in Africa in 2020. At the 10th position, we have the Southern African country of Eswatini, formerly called the Kingdom of Swaziland. Eswatini is one of the smallest countries in Africa, both in surface area and population. However, it is amongst the richest countries in Africa. With a population of about 1.1 million people, Eswatini currently has nominal GDP of about $4.6 billion and a nominal per capita income of about $4,131. Eswatini's economy is diverse, with agriculture, forestry and mining accounting for about 13% of GDP, manufacturing, textiles and sugar-related processing representing 37% of GDP and services, with government services in the lead, constituting 50% of the GDP. Taito date lands where the bulk of high-value crops are grown like sugar, forestry and citrus are characterized by high levels of investment and irrigation and high productivity. Number 9. Algeria Nominal GDP per capita $4,229 Officially, the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria is a country in the Maghreb region of North Africa. The capital and most popular city is Algiers, located in the far north of the country of the Mediterranean coast. With an area of 2,381,741 square kilometers, Algeria is the 10th largest country in the world and the largest by area in the African Union and Arab world. With an estimated population of over 44 million, it is the 8th most populous country in Africa. Algeria is classified as an upper middle income country by the World Bank. The economy remains dominated by the state, a legacy of the country's socialist post-independence development model. In recent years, the Algerian government has halted the privatization of state-owned businesses and industries and imposed restrictions on imports and foreign involvement in its economy. The nominal GDP of Algeria currently stands at $180.6 billion and the country has a nominal GDP per capita of about $4,229. Number 8. Namibia Nominal GDP per capita $5,923 Namibia is a country in southern Africa with a population of about 2.7 million people and a surface area of about 825,615 square kilometers. Namibia is the most past populated country in Africa. Namibia's economy is tied closely to South Africa's due to their shared history. The largest economic sectors are mining, 10.4% of gross domestic products in 2009, agriculture 5.0%, manufacturing 13.5% and tourism. Namibia has a highly developed banking sector with modern infrastructure such as online banking and cell phone banking. The Bank of Namibia BON, is the central bank of Namibia responsible for performing all other functions ordinarily performed by a central bank. There are five BON authorized commercial banks in Namibia, Bank Winhoek, First National Bank, Net Bank, Standard Bank and Small and Medium Enterprises Bank. As of the year 2020, Namibia has a GDP of about $14.1 billion and a nominal per capita income of about $5,923, making it the 8th richest country in Africa. Number 7. South Africa Nominal GDP per capita $6,331 South Africa is one of the most beautiful countries in Africa with beautiful cities and exotic destinations. With a population of about 58.7 million people, the country is the 24th most populous nation in the world and covers a surface area of about 1,221,037 square kilometers. South Africa has a mixed economy, the second largest in Africa after Nigeria. 
It also has a relatively high gross domestic product GDP per capita and compared to other countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. As a regional manufacturing hub, it is the most industrialized and diversified economy on the continent. South Africa is an upper middle income economy, one of the only eight such countries in Africa. Since 1996, at the end of over 12 years of international sanctions, South Africa's gross domestic product almost tripled to peak at $400 billion in 2011, but has since declined to roughly $385 billion in 2019. As of 2020, South Africa has a GDP of about $371.2 billion and a nominal GDP per capita of about $6,331. South Africa is also home to the highest number of rich people on the continent. Number 6. Libya Nominal GDP per capita $7,803 Libya is a country in the Maghreb region in North Africa, bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, Egypt, Sudan, Chad and Niger and Algeria. The sovereign state is made of three historical regions, Tripolitania, Fezzan and Cyrenaica. With an area of almost 1.8 million square kilometers, Libya is the fourth largest country in Africa and is the 16th largest country in the world. Libya is one of the highest producers of oil in Africa. The Libyan economy depends primarily upon revenues from the oil sector, which accounts for over half of the GDP and 97% of exports. Libya holds the largest proven oil reserves in Africa and is an important contributor to the global supply of light, sweet crude oil. The World Bank defines Libya as an upper middle income economy, along with only seven other African countries. Substantial revenues from the energy sector, coupled with a small population, gives Libya one of the highest per capita GDPs in Africa. This allowed the Libyan Arab Jamarira state to provide an extensive level of social security, particularly in the fields of housing and education. Libya currently has a nominal GDP of $51.3 billion and a nominal GDP per capita of about $7,803, making it the sixth richest country in Africa. Number 5. Botswana Nominal GDP per capita $8,263 Botswana is currently having one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. Located in the southern part of Africa, Botswana has a population of about 2.2 million people. Since independence, Botswana has had one of the fastest growth rates in the per capita income of the world. Botswana has transformed itself from one of the poorest countries in the world to an upper middle income country. Although Botswana was resource abundant, a good institutional framework allowed the country to reinvest resource income in order to generate stable future income. By one estimate, it has the fourth highest gross national income, giving it a standard of living around that of most countries in Latin America. The country is the highest producer of diamonds in Africa, and mining is also a major contributor to the country's economy. The country currently has nominal GDP of about $19.6 billion and a nominal GDP per capita of about $8,263, making it the fifth richest country in Africa. Number 4. Gabon Nominal GDP per capita $8,384 Gabon is a country on the west coast of Central Africa. Located at the equator, Gabon is bordered by Equatorial Guinea to the northwest, Cameroon to the north, the Republic of the Congo in the east and south, and the Gulf of Guinea to the west. It has an area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers and its population is estimated at 2.1 billion people. Its capital and largest city is Libreville. Gabon's economy is dominated by oil. Oil revenues constitute roughly 46% of the government's budget, 43% of the gross domestic product, and 81% of exports. Oil production is currently declining rapidly from its high point of 370,000 barrels per day in 1997. Some estimates suggest that Gabonese oil will be expended by 2025. Though the country is one of the richest in Africa, income inequality is one of the major problems plaguing the country. The country currently has a nominal GDP per capita of about $17.2 billion and with a population of about 2.1 million people, the country has a nominal GDP per capita of about $8,334. Number 3. Equatorial Guinea Nominal GDP per capita $9,141 Equatorial Guinea is a country situated on the central coast of Africa with an area of 28,000 square kilometers. Formerly the colony of Spanish Guinea, its post-independence name evokes its location near both the equator and the Gulf of Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is the only sovereign African state in which Spanish is an official language. The discovery of large oil reserves in 1996 and its subsequent exploitation contributed to a dramatic increase in government revenue. As of 2004, Equatorial Guinea is the third largest oil producer in Sub-Saharan Africa. Its oil production has risen to 360,000 barrels per day up from 220,000 only two years earlier. Forestry, farming and fishing are also major components of GDP. Subsistence farming predominates. The deterioration of the rural economy under successive brutal regimes has diminished any potential for agriculture-led growth. 
Just like in Gabon, income inequality is also a major problem in Equatorial Guinea, although the country is really very wealthy. Number 2. Mauritius Nominal GDP per capita $11,693 Coming in at second place, we have the beautiful island country of Mauritius. Mauritius is a heaven when it comes to tourism in Africa. Just like its neighboring Seychelles, Mauritius has some of the best beaches not only in Africa but the world at large. The country has a population of about 1.2 million people with Port Louis as its capital. The economy of Mauritius is mainly dependent on tourism and agriculture. However, its citizens enjoy the highest standards of living on the continent. With a nominal GDP of about $14.8 billion and a nominal GDP per capita of about $11,693, Mauritius is the second richest country in all of Africa. Apart from being the second richest country in Africa, Mauritius also has the second most powerful passport on the continent. Number 1. Seychelles Nominal GDP per capita $16,332 Seychelles currently holds the title of the richest country in Africa when it comes to per capita income, be it nominal or purchasing power parity. This small island country made up of 115 volcanic islands in the Indian Ocean has a population of about 98,000 people and is also the smallest country in Africa, both in terms of population and surface area. Tourism and agriculture are the main economic activities in the country, although a lot of companies have started opening branches in the country. The prime agricultural products currently produced in Seychelles include sweet potatoes, vanilla, coconuts and cinnamon. These products provide much of the economic support of the locals. Frozen and canned fish, copra, cinnamon and vanilla are the main export commodities. Since the worldwide economic crisis of 2008, the Seychelles government has prioritized a curbing of the budget deficit including the containment of social welfare costs and further privatization of public enterprises. The government has a pervasive presence in economic activity, with public enterprises active in petroleum product distribution, banking, imports of basic products, telecommunications and a wide range of other businesses. According to the 2013 Index of Economic Freedom, which measures the degree of limited government, market openness, regulatory efficiency, rule of law and other factors, economic freedom has been increasing each year since 2010. There you have it, explorers. Those are the top 10 richest countries in Africa as of 2020. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.